Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of January 1st to the 7th, 2024, <laughs> the very first week of the year ahead. I'm so excited. So let's dive into it. The first card is going to be from the giant Rider Waite Smith deck, and this is going to represent your overall energy and theme this week ahead. And you have the Eight of Cups. Okay, whenever the Eight of Cups comes out, especially like as a huge theme, we do see that you're feeling naturally guided in a different direction this week. And, you know, your soul is having the sense of wanderlust, the sense of what else is there for me out there. And you may actually be uh, guided to walk away from people or situations, things that were once fulfilling to you. So for example, some of you may be questioning like quitting your job, finding a new career, going back to school, um, exiting a friendship, relationship, something because it doesn't, you know, meet all of your needs. It, there's just something here where your intuition is guiding you um, in a new direction because it, it feels like your current reality isn't meeting all of your needs. You know, that's one aspect of the Eight of Cups that isn't talked about that much, you know. It's Eight Cups and they're all standing upright, meaning this like represents a situation that is pretty good, you know. There are good positive aspects of it. Um, however, it doesn't meet all of your needs. It's not the Nine of Cups, it's not the Ten of Cups. You know, there's two more uh, cups that need to be complete here in order to have ultimate emotional fulfillment and happiness. And it just feels like um, that one or two cups, you know, that's missing from your life. And so you feel this natural inclination, this natural urge to go find that and not necessarily settle. So I am seeing that sort of theme, that energy, that thought in your mind. We have meditation brings answers. So if you are feeling confused about this, and it's a difficult situation, the Eight of Cups, because it's like there are positive attributes from your current situation uh, that you're contemplating leaving right now. So I could see why I could be a little bit confused on like, should I just leave this completely? Should I like keep doing this and try finding that extra fulfillment, that extra money, that extra whatever somewhere else, whatever. And that is where meditation will bring you the answers that you need, okay? So you also have the owl spirit coming through as a guide this week and it says wisdom, advancement, independent thinking, and enlightenment, okay? I feel like you are gonna get a really good idea, strong spiritual clarity coming in uh, for what you need to do in this situation in the best, highest way possible that serves you and all the people around you. You're going to have a very clear understanding of your next steps and it's coming in this week. So that's really great. So let's get more specifics. We have six cards from the Cozy Witch Tarot. First card out is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, guys, this is money coming in for you this week. This is stability, a uh, commitment some sort of like grounded happy energy and it says wow what an abundant opportunity so there is an opportunity uh, this week that is very very blessed I mean the aces in the tarot just shine positive energy on any like negative cards around it shines positive energy on your week ahead especially being the first card out for you ace of pentacles this is really really positive there is some sort of golden opportunity in your life right now that will bring you more prosperity more peace um, and you should like take it absolutely then we have the the moon coming out in reverse yeah you're having a hard time trusting your intuition is what i'm seeing here because your intuition is guiding you into uncharted unknown territories and it says taking time for deep self-reflection is essential especially at this time libra uh, and that's also why it's, you got the card meditation brings answers so this week at this time that you're watching you really need to be meditating a lot more journaling a lot more like every day until you are 100% clear on your next step forward because your intuition like this is validation your intuition is in fact telling you to do something that is outside of your comfort zone that involves a future path that's scary that's unknown um, and it may involve a really bold decision such as leaving someone or something behind embracing a new beginning or taking some sort of like big leap of faith so you know, this is confirmation. Your intuition is telling you to make a really big change. 
and you're kind of hesitating on that, hesitating on trusting that intuition. Um, and for some of you, it may be going against what your ego wants. For example, your ego may want a certain relationship to work out, or your ego may want a certain, you know, sense of stability. And you know, it's all it's uncomfortable leaving your comfort zone, you know. Um, and when your intuition is saying, "Hey, let's leave this comfort zone because there's something much better out there," you know, you're just like, "No, I don't know if I want to do that." Um, and so that's where self-reflection comes in because it'll help you um, trust that intuition. Third card out is the Knight of Swords, beautiful energy. This is your energy. And we see here someone in their bedroom surrounded by books and she has a little vest that says book blogger and her phone is in hand. She is studying up, starting her own book blog uh, because it's her dream. And you know, she hasn't made it big yet. She's obviously operating out of her bedroom, but she's well on the way of, of being there because she already made the decision to do it. And based off of what she's wearing, it looks like she's young too. She still has a long way to go. And it says, be ambitious, chase your every Every dream. So this golden opportunity that's coming forward for you may be one that involves you chasing your dream. I'm seeing here some Libras. Um, you may have like a dream job, for example, and um, it may involve you having to move away from all your friends, all your family, whatever, and your intuition may be telling you to do that. Obviously, that's very scary. That's just an example of this energy, but I think you get the point. Or, you know, you always wanted to I don't know, live abroad for a year. And you know, your intuition is saying like, Hey, here's the opportunity to do it. Why don't you go after it? And you know, there's hesitation. <laughs> so, mm, okay. Second row of cards out. Fourth card is the seven of swords in reverse. Mm, interesting card. And this is what it looks like upright. She's a witch who has vowed not to kill or harm a living being. And here she is about to kill a spider, which is a very strong witch familiar. Are your actions really as selfless as you think? You know what I'm seeing in this card here, guys? I'm actually seeing that you are concerned that by following what your intuition is guiding you to do, you may be selfish in the process because your intuition you know, may be guiding you into a place in life where you're really prioritizing yourself, your career, your goals, etc. It may guide you away from certain relationships or away from, you know, having enough time and energy to pour into other people and their lives. And I am seeing this like deep sense of inner guilt, especially if you're a divine feminine being, you know, so many divine feminine souls are taught to, you know, be the selfless entity who has no needs or wants and just constantly pours into the people around them. So doing something just for you, focusing more on yourself may feel unnatural. And I, I am seeing that sort of fear present here. Um, guys, you're at the precipice of a big life changing decision that will bring you extreme emotional fulfillment. And you are hesitating because your life right now, your comfort zone right now, it's okay. You know, your needs are met, you're content, but there's still that little something that's missing. And that voice in your head is saying like, should I get that? Like, should I go after that? Mm, it's a difficult place to be. Ace of wands, you gotta be kidding me. Two aces, this is a really, really, really positive week. This is yet another opportunity coming in of passion. You have an opportunity of passion and an opportunity of um, stability coming in together, which is a beautiful combination. And this says, don't you see how your passion makes you glow? Exactly. You deserve a passionate romance. You deserve a passionate lifestyle and career that brings you that money, that stability. That's the thing, you want both of those things together. You want that passion, that drive, you know, waking up every morning so excited for your life, but you also want that financial stability, that health, that groundedness, that rootedness, that, you know, feel safe. And Spirit is saying both of these are available to you. It may require some adjustments in your life. It may require some change, but your intuition is guiding you towards these beautiful new beginnings, these beautiful new energies that are entering your life. You are on a newfound journey of self-exploration and could even be exploring the world, exploring your own ideas more seriously. 
and it's just beautiful. I love it. Pay attention to any new energies that come in this week, any new people you meet, new opportunities, new ideas you take action on. Libra, this feels like a life-changing um, week almost where you are like entering into this chapter of your life where you're aligned with your passions, dreams come true, and you're on this journey of, of self-improvement. And then we have broom coming out in reverse. This is what it looks like upright. And it says, tidy up your life so you can make space for something better. And we see some boxes here. I do wonder if some of you are moving, planning on moving this year or at this time. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I feel like every big change that comes into our life, and I just noticed this, you will have this weird like nudge or desire to clean your entire house or to like declutter right before something really huge enters your life, okay? And this could happen vice versa, you know? And it doesn't even have to be your physical stuff. Like if you get into a breakup, for example, I swear it's always right after breakups or even like friendship breakups, whatever, that the hugest like blessings and new opportunities come in our lives because we make energetic space for it. That's the thing about us humans. We have unconditional love. Like our love is infinite, you know, and our ideas are infinite. Our passion and creativity is infinite. However, our time and our capacity to carry energy uh, is limited. So you need to make room for this new energy to come in. If you're not happy with your life right now, there are certain individuals, habits, situations, people, things that need to be removed in order to create more bandwidth in your energy to focus on these new things that are coming in here. If you're displeased with your life in any way, take a look at what you're displeased with. Get rid of it, okay? Get rid of anything in your life. Like literally go on like a whole like thing this week where you just detox, declutter, remove negative um, habits, people, etc and make space for these beautiful blessings to enter, you know? I, I'm totally into feng shui and this is like aligned with it. You know, I always tell people, if you wanna manifest love, new love in your life, the best thing you could do is like tidy up your bedroom and make it like ready for love to enter. Like make your bed accessible from both sides, make, have beautiful sheets and pillows and everything, uh, you know, space a bed big enough for another person and literally empty a drawer out in your bedroom to give to that person when they stay over you know already have like little guest things toiletries and things ready um keep your room clean beautifully decorated because it's like if your soulmate were to enter your life right here right now today like would you be proud to bring them over to your house would you be happy like are you prepared for that do you have the room in your life for it right now um and beyond just the bedroom like do you have space in your schedule to accommodate a new person a new relationship a new love interest you know do you have restaurants picked out uh cafes picked out that you want to bring this person do you have like clothing to wear on dates, you know what I mean? It's like make the space for what you're trying to manifest in your life. That may be a good guiding point to focus on this week, okay? Thank you guys for joining me. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there, my spiritual life coaching sessions there, and of course my 2024 tarot and mediumship reading, which you have to get today because it is only going to be up and available for the rest of January. And this is a very special offering. It is an hour long video reading where you'll have the opportunity to email me ahead of time. Any questions, comments, concerns that you have with any relevant backstory uh, that you want me to touch upon in your reading. And I'll be looking into 2023, what it taught you, what you learned, what you experienced, 2024, what you'll learn, experience um, in all areas of life, like relationships, um, finances, career, uh, spirituality, everything. And I'll answer your questions. And it's a, it's a video reading and it's not live. So you don't have to schedule anything. You literally just buy it, send your questions, and then you'll receive it in, within seven days. So it's a pretty good offering. And then of course, at the end, we will open the floor up to any spirits, that, deities, ancestors, like any spirit that wants to come through and communicate with you. And again, this is a very limited offering and it'll be not available very soon. So go get it now before you forget. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.